Hello, Mo. I have a question for you. What is going on, Frankie? Well, I was just outside enjoying the day when I looked up and there were a ton of beautiful clouds. Yes, I was outside earlier and it is a beautiful day. I know, but as I got to looking at the clouds, I thought to myself, where do clouds come from? That's why I came to talk to you. No problem, Frankie. Well, I sure do have a few fun facts about clouds. Like first, did you know that a cloud is made up of a large group of tiny water droplets? That is what allows us to see them in the air. Really? So clouds are full of water? That is right, Frankie. What happens is, when water that is on the earth evaporates and goes into the sky, once it makes it to the sky, it does a process called condensation because it is cooler up in the air, and that is where the clouds are formed. Okay, but I don't get it, Mo. How do clouds float in the air? Well, it takes a couple of things to make it happen for a cloud to float. You see, as long as the cloud and the air that it's made up of is warmer than the outside air around it, it floats. Mo, that is so cool. I would have never thought that by looking up in the sky and seeing clouds, they were just made up of water. That is right, little guy. Many clouds can be made up of millions of drops of water. Look at it like this, Frankie. Anytime we see rain, snow, sleet, and hail falling from the sky, that is why. When it comes down, they call that precipitation. It is so amazing seeing all the cool things like clouds that are on planet Earth. Yes, it is, Frankie. But clouds are not just here on planet Earth. They are on other planets as well. For example, there are clouds made of carbon dioxide on Venus. Do other planets have clouds? Yes, there are, Frankie. Like when looking at Jupiter and Saturn, they have clouds that are made up of a chemical called ammonia. I would have never known that there were clouds on other planets. Well, that is why I am here, Frankie. Also, did you know that clouds actually have names? What do you mean clouds have names? When looking at clouds, they are not all the same. There are actually three types of clouds when looking at the sky. They are called cirrus, cirrostratus, and cirrocumulus. Wow, Mo. I just started off looking at the clouds and thinking how cool they look, but you told me a bunch of stuff about clouds that I could even talk about in my science class. That is why I am here, Frankie, for plenty of fun facts about clouds for kids. You're the best, Mo.